Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. Today's lesson is about nouns that only have a plural form. So, certain English nouns only have a plural form. So, this means that the form is always plural, never singular. And there are three types of nouns where the form is always plural. Type 1. Certain articles of clothing. Type 2. Certain tools or instruments. And type 3. Well, there are a few other types. So now let's look at each type in detail. So first of all, type 1, certain articles of clothing. So it's not all types of clothing, but just certain articles. Example, trousers is always in the plural form. So this word is always in the plural form. We never say trouser, for example. So it's always with the S. Pyjamas, so this is what we wear in bed, always plural, even if we're only talking about one unit, even if it is in the singular. So it could be a singular meaning, but the form is always plural. Tights, so this is what um, women wear on their legs. Shorts, always plural. Knickers, so this is ladies' underwear. Pants, and this is men's underwear. Example, I like your trousers. So this is correct. We have it in the plural form. But this is wrong. I like your trouser. So even though the person is wearing, it, it, the unit is one, it's singular, but the form is always plural with an S. I like your trousers. Where are my shorts? So this is correct. Shorts is in the plural form. And notice how we have also put the verb in the plural form as well to match, uh, to agree with the plural form of the noun. But this is wrong. Where are my short? No, this is not correct. And this is wrong as well. Even though the verb now agrees with the singular of the noun, this is wrong because short must always be in the plural. Where are my shorts? Certain tools or instruments. Binoculars. So I'm sure you know what these are. They help us to see things which are far away from us. And it's always in the plural. We never say binocular without the S. Glasses. So this is what we wear over our eyes to help us see better. Sunglasses to protect our eyes from the sun, always in the plural, never in the singular. Scissors, so to help us cut paper, always plural, always with an S. Headphones that we use to listen to music. Example, can I borrow your headphones? So this is correct. We have it in the plural form. But can I borrow your headphone? No, this is wrong. This is in the singular, but this word does not exist in the singular form. So even though here there is only one, one unit, Okay, it's still, so the meaning is singular, 
The meaning is singular, but the form is always plural. Can I borrow your headphones? Where did you buy your sunglasses? Plural. But where did you buy your sunglasses in the singular? No, this is wrong. Okay. Now, so here is a sum the summary of what we have already seen. Okay, so I've already explained this. And now, so how can we um, how can we define or specify if we only want to talk about one unit in the singular? Well, we use the following structure for one unit, singular, of these words. Okay, this rule is only for type 1 and type 2. So for these examples. So for these examples, we can say pair of plus the noun in the plural form. And it means one unit. Example. I need a pair of shorts. I need a pair of shorts. So just one. This means I want one. I need one. But we obviously don't say we don't say I need a short I need a short. This is wrong. This is incorrect. Because short must always be plural. But this is wrong as well. We cannot say I need a shorts. No, if we want to say one unit, singular, of all of these words, then we say pair of. I need a pair of shorts. I need a pair of trousers. I need a pair of tights, knickers, pants, binoculars, scissors. Okay, for one unit. Another example. I only have one pair of glasses. I only have one pair of glasses. Okay, so I only have one, one of these, one unit. We don't say I only have one glass. This means something very different. Here we are talking about, this actually means I only have one glass, glass of water, for example. And of course, this is wrong as well. I only have one glasses. No, this is wrong. If we want to say one unit of this, then we must say one pair of glasses. Okay. Now we have to say a similar rule for the plural. So for all of these words, type one and type two, if we want to describe several units, or the plural, then we say pairs of. Okay, so it's the same, but this time we put the word pair in the plural form. And the noun is also in the plural form. Example. I am going to buy three pairs of shorts. I'm going to buy three pairs of shorts. Okay, you see them here. This is one pair. This is two pairs with an S. And this is three pairs of shorts with an S. Three pairs of shorts. One, two, three. We can also say three pairs of pyjamas. Three pairs of scissors three pairs of glasses, three pairs of headphones. So this is correct. But this is wrong. I'm going to buy three shorts. No, we don't say that in English. It's wrong. Here are lots of pairs of tights. Here are lots of pairs of tights. Okay, so here we haven't actually specified the number. We have used the structure lots of, followed by pairs of tights, which is always in the plural form. Okay, 
So this rule applies to type one and type two. So all of these words follow this rule for the plural. And this is now type three. So these are the other nouns with only a plural form. There are a few of these, but I'm only sh giving you the four most common examples. So I'm going to give you four common nouns. The first one is a word belongings, belongings. And this means personal things or items that belong to you. So you can see the, ori the origin of the word is um, comes from the verb to belong. So if something belongs to you, it is your belongings. It is your belongings. So this is a noun and it's always in the plural form. So it just means things that you own, that you perhaps carry around with you. So for example, you go to the, you go to the shops and you carry your belongings. You carry a bag, a hat, glasses, scarf. It's often little accessories that we carry in our everyday lives. And it's always in the plural. Example, the teacher says, do not leave your belongings in the classroom. Do not leave your belongings in the classroom. And we never say, do not leave your belonging. We never say this in the singular. Even if there's only one item, even if you're even if you're only carrying one bag, we do not say, do not leave your belonging. No, we, we always say this in the plural. Savings. And this means the money in your bank account. And the origin, the origin of the word is because you are saving the money for the future. Okay, so this is the origin of the word. So it comes from the verb save, to save money. But this is a noun. This is a noun and it is always in the plural form. Okay. Example. I spent my savings on a new car. I spent my savings on a new car. And this is never in the singular, so we would not say I spent my saving on a new car. No, that, that is wrong. This is always in the plural form, even if the idea is a singular meaning. Okay, but the form is always plural. Notice the structure. Notice the preposition that we use here. We say spend savings on something, on a noun. And this is also the case with money. I spent my money on a new car. I spent my money on a computer. I spent my money on a holiday to Spain. Okay, so it's a, a useful expression. We spend money on something, on. And part two. Some more nouns, two more nouns with only a plural form. Clothes. So I'm sure you know this word. This is just the general word for what we are wearing, for a collection of articles of clothing. But we never say this in the singular. We don't say clothe without an S. No, we only have this word in English in the plural form. His clothes are dirty. His clothes are dirty. So we have the, the noun always in the plural. And look, since it's, it is in the plural, then the linking verb to be is also in the plural form because we have to, this has to agree with the subject, with the noun. So here we have the... Um, let me think, sorry, the third person plural of the verb to be, are. His clothes are dirty. S 
stairs. So stairs refers to this structure inside a building. It's, it's the, the general structure here, the whole structure. And in English, um, it is always in the plural form, always. An example, to go to the first floor, you can take the stairs. You can take the stairs. So although it is one structure, it's always in the plural in English. And I know this is different to other European languages. For example, in French, um, French they have the word for this is escalier, and it's in, and they use it in the singular form. So that's why this rule is quite important in English. It's important to understand that in English, um, it's only in the plural form. You can take the stairs. Okay. So there we are. That's the end. Here are some other lessons which I think you'll be interested in.